Namaste and welcome to El Dorado Ashram's Kids Yoga. My name is Lee Lavati and I'm so happy to be practicing yoga with you today. So yogis, I have a question for you. What is gratitude? Now this is a pretty big word and maybe you've heard your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your siblings use this word, but what does it mean? Let's take a moment and think. Well, gratitude kind of sounds like grateful. Maybe you, you've heard that word a little more often, or maybe the word thankful. So gratitude is a positive emotion. It's about focusing on what's good in our lives and being thankful for all the things that we have. So just take a few moments and think about one or two things that you are so grateful for or so thankful for. Some examples of this could be your home, your family, maybe your pets, your friends, food, maybe your favorite snacks or desserts like ice cream. One thing that I'm so grateful for is having fun. I love to have fun, to play games, and I'm so grateful and thankful to be able to do yoga with you today. So placing your hands on your heart before we get started, take a few breaths into your heart center. Maybe closing the eyes and finding a smile on your face. Think about those one or two things that make you feel so happy and grateful for. And as a yoga challenge, we're going to try to stay happy and grateful through our whole practice. And let's begin. So here at the ashram, we have a lot of animals. And for this first bit of our class, we are going to act out all of these animals to help us really warm up our body. So let's shift our way all the way forward and through. And we're going to come into a little squat position. Now let's take our fingers and put them in our armpits and we're going to make little wings. And we're going to pretend to be chickens. And we can balk and cluck around and start to hop, warming up the body. Cluck, 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 cluck. Can you try to turn around in a circle while you cluck or balk? Balk, balk, balk. And here at the ashram, we have about 60 chickens. Oh my gosh, 60 chickens. So we get to enjoy a lot of our fresh eggs and love to hang out with the chickens in the garden. The next really fun animal that we have are goats. So we're going to come into a tabletop position, placing our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. And you may have heard of this movement that we're going to do be called as cat cows, but today we're going to do cat goats. We have lots of kitties around the ashram too. So starting in your tabletop position, we're going to inhale, slide our heart forward, lift the gaze and lift our tailbone and making a goat noise. Bah! Good job. Now exhale to round the spine, touching all the way to your heart making a Halloween cat back and give me a nice good meow. Inhale to come forward. Bah! And exhale. Meow. One more time. Inhale. Bah! And exhale. Meow. Good job. So we come back to center, untucking the toes, giving them a gentle little tap to wake them up, then coming back to a tucked position. Now here at the ashram, so far we have chickens, goats, and kitties. We also have three dogs, and their names are Sammy, Leo, and Romeo. So taking a nice deep inhale, exhale to lift your hips high to the sky. And wagging your tail, giving it a nice big shake, pretending like your puppy is so grateful and so happy. 
Coming back to stillness, inhale to lift up one leg high and place it back down. Inhale to lift the other leg high and place it that back down. Now everyone take a nice full belly breath and exhale to howl at the moon. Ow! Two more times, inhale. Ow! One more time. Ow! Good job. Everyone lift one leg high and bring it all the way between your hands. So we're in a nice high lunge position. And inhale to bring your arms all the way above your head. Now, the tallest animal that we have here at the ashram are alpacas. So that's like a miniature version of a llama, and they have super soft fur. So inhale, let's find length and find strength in our position. Great job. Now step the back leg forward and the front leg back. It may be a tricky balance challenge, but again, connecting to your inner alpaca and finding strength and length. Inhale to step forward. Exhale to step back. One more time. Inhale to step forward and exhale to step back. Great job, yogis. You can let the fingers come back down to the mat, release your knee and come back to your tabletop position. And the next fun animal we have at the ashram are sheep. And sheep, when they get frightened or scared, they like to really stomp their feet to show people who's boss. So we're gonna make little fists and stand up on our fists. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in and exhale to stomp our foot. Good job, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale to stomp our foot. Continuing to do that, moving with your breath. And really finding this as a way to ground your energy, to really connect with the earth as you press into it. Two more times. Great job. Now you can unclench your fists and sit your hips back towards your heels. And the last animal that we have at the ashram are bunny rabbits. So you can bring your hands and bring them back towards your heels, pressing your forehead down on the ground. Taking a few soft, full, and deep mindful breaths into your low belly. Pretending like you are a bunny in a field of flowers or fresh grass. Soaking up the sunshine and feeling it on your back. Maybe you gently wiggle your nose back and forth. Take another few more breaths. You can bring your arms to stretch them long in front of us. And inhale back to your tabletop position. Now we're going to go through all of our animals one more time until we get back to standing up tall. So let's start in our chicken. Take three hops. Click, click, click. Plant your knees and your hands down. Inhale to shine your heart forward. Bah. And exhale. Meow. Come back to center. Lift your tail up tall. Give it a nice good shake. Nice full breath in. Ow. Great job. Lift one foot high to the sky and step it all the way between the hands. We'll raise tall to our alpaca. Step the back foot forward and the front foot back. And exhale, come all the way back down. Great job. Release the back knee, come back 
to your tabletop pose. And do two breaths of our sheep stomp. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let the hips come all the way back to the heels, rabbit's pose. Inhale forward, exhale downward dog. And this time walking your hands all the way back towards your toes. You can slowly sweep your wings all the way out to the side and above the head. Great job, yogis. Now we're gonna play one of my all time favorite games called Yogi Says. And this is just like Simon Says, but we're going to sneak in some little yoga poses. So finding your nice tall Tadasana or mountain pose, let's get started. Yogi says, touch your head. Yogi says, touch your shoulders. Yogi says, touch your knees. Touch your toes. Yogi didn't say, Yogi says, touch your toes. Yogi says, come tall, back to mountain pose. Yogi says, tree pose. Yogi says, to open your branches wide. Sway in the wind. <gasps> Yogi didn't say. Yogi says, to sway in the wind. Yogi says, come back to center. And Yogi says to switch sides. Yogi says tree pose. Yogi says to open your branches. Yogi says to sway in the wind. Stop. Yogi didn't say. Yogi says to stop and come back to center. Yogi says to step down. Yogi says to jump the feet wide. Yogi says to open your heart and open your hands. Yogi says to twinkle your star. Yogi says to stop. Yogi says to draw your hands back to center. Sit down low. Yogi didn't say. Yogi says to sit down low. Yogi says, inhale to lift up tall and jump the feet back together. Yogi says, to open the arms out to a T. Yogi says, to step one foot forward and the other foot back, coming into a surfing position. Yogi says, to have a nice big bend in the front knee. And Yogi says, pretend like you're surfing or snowboarding. Yogi says, freeze, straighten your front leg. Yogi says, straighten your front leg. Yogi says, pivot to the front of the room, and then pivoting your opposite toes to the other side. Yogi says, nice big bend in the front knee. Yogi says to pretend you're surfing or snowboarding. And Yogi says, freeze. Yogi says to straighten the front leg and pivot the toes back to center. Yogi says hands on the hips and Yogi says jump back to your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Yogi says bring your hands to heart center and sit all the way down to your heels. Yogi says to sit down all the way to your heels. And Yogi says, slowly come back onto your bottom and lengthen your legs long in front of you. Good job. Great job, yogis. You did a really wonderful job playing that game. Now, bringing the legs back into your body for crisscross applesauce. And bring your hands to heart center. We are going to do one of my favorite songs. I'll lead you through it first, and then we'll do a call and response. 
So I'll say a line and then you'll repeat it after me and do the same movements that I'm doing. And this is how it goes. Starting by taking a nice deep breath to center your energy. Yogi, yogi, can't you see? Happiness is within me. I root down and then grow tall. Belly breathing helps us all. Yogi, yogi, can't you see? Happiness is within me. Great job. So this time we'll do a call and response style. Hands to heart center. Take a nice deep breath in to start. Yogi, yogi, can't you see? Happiness is within me. I root down and then grow tall. Belly breathing helps us all. Yogi, yogi, can't you see? Happiness is within me. Yay! Great job, everybody. I'm so proud of you. Now to finish off our yoga class for the day, we'll place both of our hands onto our heart center. Closing the eyes and smiling. Breathing into your heart and thinking about those one or two things that you were so grateful for at the beginning of class. Noticing how it makes you feel to think about those two or three things. And trying to keep that happiness, that gratitude, or that thankfulness with you for the rest of your day. Taking another nice full breath in. We can bring our hands to heart center. Now we have a code word that we say at the end of a yoga class and sometimes the beginning too. You guys want to take a guess of what that may be? Great guesses, everybody. So our secret word is namaste. And namaste means the love and light inside of me honors and respects the love, the light inside of you. So we'll take a nice deep breath into our heart and then say that to each other. Nice full breath in. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me at El Dorado Ashram for Kids Yoga. Again, my name is Leela Bhatti, and I can't wait to practice with you again soon. Have a good day.